Ready to go, just about close the back gate and they're set for the pick six opener and they're racing away from the 1600 with Breath of Magic slightly slow to respond. Pike Place began well, two miles west. Forest God was pretty alert at the start today. Montebello races just off them with Mishra further back. That's about five or six lengths off the leader. Isi Kalaba races behind that with Policy of Truth racing further back in the field. Glacier Bay is towards that one's outside passing runners and Breath of Magic is the trailer now as they run down towards the 1200 meter mark and two miles west the leader by just over a length from Pike Place in second Forest God has a good position along the rail Glacier Bay has been passing runners on the outside quickens up and midway through the contest Montebello the white cap against the rail is five lengths off the leader followed by Policy of Truth who races a bit wide Isi Kalaba and Breath of Magic are the back two but a compact field only six or seven lengths cover them as they race past the 800 meter marker now and two miles west is the leader will bring them down the strip a length clear of Pike Place in second. Forest God just two lengths to track down. Then came Mishra behind those. Further back along the inside is Montebello. Then Glacier Bay. Down towards the outside is Policy of Truth. Got five lengths to make up. Isi Kalaba and Breath of Magic. Homeward bound now reaching the last 450 metres. Two miles west is asked to give more. Gone, gone clear by two and a half lengths. From Pike Place, Forest God on the outside is Policy of Truth. Still five lengths adrift of the leader. Further back then to Mishra and down the inside Montebello. But it's told two miles west by three lengths or so. Two miles west is keeping rolling up from Forest God and Policy of Truth and two miles west keeps going long enough. Two miles west will go on and beat Forest God into second two lengths. Policy of Truth third, Pike Place, then Breath of Magic Montebello, Mishra, Isit Kalaba and Glacier Bay. So well done to Paul Matchett. Uh, the stable has been a little bit quiet in recent weeks, but uh, they picked up a winner or two now in the last couple of meetings. And two miles west, uh, Ryan Munger rode a very, very confident race from the frontier to get the maiden win under the belt. This was bred by the Parker's Ascot Stud down in the Eastern Cape. He's a son of Fire Away out of the Mare West Wacker, who was by Western Winter, and he's gone on to score from Forest God and behind that policy of truth and pike place. Well done to the winning connections. Two miles west is the winner of the third race. All right, so you heard uh, from Nico, we'll be uh, sadly and in a happy way losing Mr. Manga as of uh, next month as he continues on his international sorties. Uh, but let's enjoy him uh, whilst he's here. And uh, his latest winners are two miles high. Did catch your eye when going down to the start, and I'm sure you will give us feedback uh, and uh, tally with that. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a very nice horse, one that you'd really enjoy riding him. Um, Worked him on Tuesday. He gave me a very good feel at work. And, you know, he's a big boy. He's, he's a real big boy. And um, my concerns is how would he handle the inside track being such a big horse? But, you know, he's a nice horse. And I, I got him to the front. And he just kind of did his own thing in front where he was happy. And I just picked it up stride every, every 200 meters. And, you know, he, he ran away from them nicely in the hands. And, yeah, it's a nice progressive win from him. Yes, I think you've answered my next question is a progressive sort. Now, as far as we progress uh, throughout the afternoon uh, for you, you've uh, ridden most of the rides that are coming up. You've ridden in the ether to victory, a second in a victory. And uh, many people label it as a possible standout on the afternoon. Yeah, um, I, coming to the course, I would have said in the ether is my best. Um, she does enjoy the course and distance. She's in a very good space at the moment. And yeah, let's hope if she brings up her last run, she'll be very hard to beat in that sort of field. And um, yeah. another one you want on is Labithio? Yeah, she's uh, my old mate Labithio. I haven't ridden him for about a year now, but um, I'm just glad to be back on him. And um, you know, he's one of those honest sorts. He's one of those I wouldn't be surprised if he had to beat a field like that. Obviously, getting on him, I'm going to have to just feel where he is at the moment. But, you know, I, I wouldn't leave him out. And even Enchanting Lady in the next race, I also think she's, she's a definite inclusion there. The one you've left out is the one we really want to hear about. You've ridden it four times, you've placed on it once, and we've all, we're all pulling our hair out. The handicap has come down. We'll express for sure. Yeah, um, for some reason that all seems to always run me a good race, you know, he's, I, I, I know him quite well, I haven't sat in him for a while, but I know him well, I ran force on him here one day in a very strong, I think, pinnacle stakes, and, you know, if he brings his best, he's a huge runner, so obviously another inclusion, 
But um, yeah, I've got a competitive book of rides today. It's one of those days you could have left with four seconds and pulling your hair out or four winners. But let's just hope they keep going from here. But before I go, Mr. Matchett, thank you very much for all the support. Um, Jesus, fellas, it's, it's, it's an easy ride. So thank you very much for making my life easier. To all the owners involved in this one, there's a whole lot of them. Thank you so much to them. And to my sponsors, Bryanson Auctioneers, you can't forget about them. Thank you. <laughs> as ever person does uh, ever. It's uh, Paul Matchett. Paul, definitely look, I was, we were actually bemoaning all the hard luck stories in the last few meetings, hitting the bar seconds or third, seconds or third. Hopefully that win at uh, the Val on Tuesday has uh, seen a turn of, the, uh, turn of fortunes. You know, um, Cecil, what we, as long as they're running well, you know, we've got a lot of seconds and it's better than r running nowhere, you know. So the horse is all in the money and uh, we have the odd winner here and there, which uh, we'd be grateful for. But uh, getting back to the horse, um, well done to Ryan, a nice ride from him. And, and obviously a big thank you to all the owners. There's many of them. Many I don't want to mention all, try and mention all of them, because if I forget one of them, I'll be in big trouble. But I'll just say the big Legible. boss, uh, no, I won't read it. <laughs> but the big boss, John, thank you. All the guys at Bulldogs, well done. Yeah. Uh, thank you for their support and uh, very grateful. And uh, obviously thank to, thanks to my World Sports betting sponsors. Thank mm -hmm. you. And I think your lucky mascot, uh, Gavin McLeod. Thanks, we've got a Zimbabwe connection there. Well done to Gavin for giving, bringing us luck. Thanks. And uh, long way continue, Paul. Yeah, I mustn't. The, big, the biggest boss at home, Sarah, well done. And her team, uh, Never and Jenna and uh, all the other guys, the grooms, well done. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. Right, talking about Jenna. Oh, by the way, there is a check for the ownership. Some are part of the uh, ROA and some are not. But for those who are, it is uh, enjoy the uh, contribution from ROA. Thanks much, yeah, Paul. Thanks to ROA. Thanks for the generous support uh, Thank contribution. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now, Jenna, you're part of the team that's a senior to a lovely sort come through and a winner the fifth time of asking when trying the 1600 for the first time. Come closer to me, my brother. And uh, of course, uh, tell us about this horse. Nice horse? Yeah, this horse is uh, going to be a nice horse. Yeah, definitely. I, oh, I would like to thank the Maroon team for having such a nice horse. Eh? I think the, the, this horse has got a better future. And also, uh, I would like to say to Fanyo, uh, good luck uh, with, for the winner for this was. Also, uh, I would like to thank my whole team. I left at the yard, never in the whole team. Said, well done, guys, for a good job. And also my boss, I'd like to thank him for good work. And also my sponsors, World Sports Betting, I would like to thank them again also. also. Thank you so, so much. Now you say, is it Fanwell or is it ever is Fanwell? Is it Fanuel. the uh, Fanwell? Well done to Fanwell and please uh, pass our regards to Fanwell. Thanks very much, Jenna. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks, Manolo. That is the presentations to race uh, number three. Don't forget, it is SA Classic Day on the 2nd of March and that is the title of uh, race three. Impressively taken out by the one at two miles west and Ryan Munger teaming up uh, with uh, Paul Matchett. That is the wrap of race three. The first leg of the pick six and it should be a popular result.